Are you not cold? What's up? What's good, bro? What are you wearing? I'm wearing clothes. But it's 33 degrees outside. I have to wash clothes. Ah, right, whatever. I'll see you later. Hey Centennial United, it's Dr. Blackwell. I hope you are well. By now, I'm sure you have heard the news that our very own assistant principal, Mr. Grant, is off to great things and he has been promoted to a principal in a nearby school district. So I want to take this opportunity, just as I'm sure you do, to thank him for his heartfelt, dedicated work to improving things here at Centennial. And I want to wish him from the bottom of my heart and hopefully yours, the best of luck as he takes on a new and exciting journey. Congratulations, Mr. Grant. My name is Antonio Grant, and I have been a assistant principal here at Centennial High School since 2021. My favorite memory was my first day at Centennial. I came directly from my previous school, which was Langston Hughes High School, and came directly here to Centennial to work the football game. I believe that was our first win in a very, very long time, and the students were so excited that they rushed the field. Um, I learned in that day we had a, some amazing students because they, they went out they celebrated their teammates, they celebrated their classmates. What makes Centennial special to me is we have an amazing um, team of teachers who are absolutely dedicated to supporting our students. Uh, we have an amazing uh, community. Our family members uh, really commit to supporting our staff and our students, and our students are amazing. Um, one of the best groups of students I've ever worked with. Kind, um, considerate, very caring. Uh, it's not unusual to see students advocate for each other, um, look out for each other, help each other out, help each other feel welcome into the Centennial family. And um, I've, I've always admired that. Thank you for this opportunity to be a part of this amazing community. I've learned a lot. Um, I made some, um, some great friends and I look forward to continue to build on those friendships and continue to build on um, the things that I've learned here at Centennial and will absolutely take every lesson, every relationship, every experience with me as I go on to my next experience. Thank you, Mr. Grant, for all that you have done for our ESOL department, and we would like to wish you very good luck at your new position at John Lewis Invictus Academy. Thank, Thank you, you. we will we'll miss, miss you. you. <laughs> Mr. Grant, we wish you all the best in your new job. We're sure that they will appreciate your good nature, leadership skills, and ability to listen. Field look on field air folk. Bon chance, Mr. Grant. Buena Buenas suerte. suerte. We, we wish you the best. best. Congratulations, Mr. Grant. Comma, good luck. And a happy birthday. What's this for? <laughs> Jacob Turner. I'm a junior and I'm a shooting guard. My name is Amari Campbell. I'm 11th grade and I play small four and power four. My name is Ford Felton. I'm in 10th grade and I'm a center. Camden Stone, 11th grade and I play point guard. My favorite part about being on the team is the fact that we've all been playing together since fourth grade. 
So it's more like a family and then just the, the energy that we all have and the chemistry we all have when we're on the court. My favorite part about the team is probably the camaraderie because we all get along. Probably just my teammates. You know, we have fun just playing basketball together. The favorite part of being on the team is, you know, me and the guys, we're like brothers, so it's kind of fun. Every game, before every game, we kind of play music, joke around, get locked in. The team's goal this year is to make playoffs. Get at least second or third or first in our region and maybe make it to the playoffs. Go far in the state tournament. Win region, that's the big goal. Win region, win the region playoffs. Win the region championship is the team's goal. State championship, make it to playoffs, make it as far as we can and really just build as a team and get better. Growing up, my mom and dad played basketball, but it was mostly my dad. So since I was three, I just never stopped playing basketball. I'd say my dad, when I was young, he put a basketball in my hands and I've just been playing since. Uh, when I was younger, like three, I was in a upward league and that was my first basketball league that made me want to play basketball. Centennial can support the team by pulling up to the majority of our games. We need you at the games. We need it packed every game. Coming out to the games, get it packed because home court advantage is a real thing. Especially the home games it gives us a home court advantage when everybody's loud, brings the energy to the gym, gets us hyped for the game. My biggest role model is LeBron James because he's the GOAT, greatness, all, all that. My biggest role model probably has to be my old coach, Coach Bias. I wear his number. He's probably the reason I got into basketball and taught me most of the stuff I know. I say my parents, you know, they push me no matter what, even if it's a hard time, you know, they push me just to be the best person I can be. I'm Meredith and I'm Morgan and, and you're, you're watching, watching The Loft. My name is Tweezy Nick. My name is Ethan Muth. I'm Camilo. And we're going to be trying uh, four mystery drinks and yeah, we're going to guess what they are. All right, shall we? Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> it's okay, I have my guess, I have my guess. <laughs> Three, two, one, carry it. Tomato soup. What? <laughs> <It's like laughs> that was a banger. Isn't it good? Oh, chug that. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, of the eight. Tomato, tomato juice. Mmm. <laughs> That was so good. Oh my god. Okay. Got wait, it. wait. Got it. Wait. Okay. Easy. Three, two, one. Pin. Sprite. <laughs> Today, not tomorrow. That's mm. easy. Ooh. Mm. That's easy. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay on three. Stay on three. One, two, three. Sprite. Sprite. Coke. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got it. No. <laughs> Vinegar. <laughs> Why <White> vinegar? <laughs> uh, three, two, one. Venom from a poisonous frog in the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was not that bad. <laughs> Powered. Easy. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm. Mm.
No, I already know what that is. No, no, no. I know what it is. I know what it is. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Power Peach rain. body armor. Three, two, one. Blackberry, Blackberry Minute, Minute Maid juice. juice. Yo. What they said. On God, that was, that's what it is. Second one. All right, so vinegar. What do we say for this one? Tomato? T tomato, tomato soup. Tomato juice. No, that's tomato soup. Oh, no, that's V8 it tomato. Is V8 juice, yeah. This yeah. is uh, Diet Coke. That's Diet Coke. And this, this is, is Blackberry Minute Maid. Blackberry Minute Maid. Yeah. Right. And those are our final, final answers. Final answers. Go. All right. Okay, so, oh, all right, so we kind of ate. We did pretty good. We kind of nope. ate. Oh, snail. <laughs> Try again. Sna <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Grant, for everything you've done for us. And us, the Centennial team, wish you good luck in your next journey. Welcome back, Centennial. This is your favorite host, Cammie G. And David G. New Year, same us. So as you already know, we have an amazing episode for you guys today. Camera rolling. Action. Good morning, Knights. Welcome to the new year, giving you a look into the near future. This is your Sin 10 weekly weather update, brought to you by the one and only K. And K. This Saturday's forecast, you can expect a cloudy low of 31 and high of 46. This Sunday's forecast is looking very cloudy with a high of 43, but unfortunately, no chance of snow. Today's forecast, there's a 50% chance it's already raining. What happened to Kate? Kate? Oh. Oh, Kate, the other Kate. Um, I think I heard she was, like, sick. Or is she just missing? I don't know. Anyway, guess that's all. These chests are terrible. Oh, huh, it's Kate. And you're watching The Loft. <laughs> the word of the day is Midasism. Midasism is the excessive use of the letter M. So, Molly, are you excited to move to the mountains in Michigan this month? Why, yes, and I've heard that the mansion is quite magnificent, and it was owned by a metal manufacturer who was married to a medical practitioner. Oh, yes, I heard the mountains are most mesmerizing and magical. Yes, it's cost me a lot of money, but it's much too amazing for me to miss out on. But have you ever imagined an imaginary menagerie manager managing an imaginary manager? Good Kid Mad City is the second studio album by rapper and producer Kendrick Lamar. I'm a really big fan of this album. I feel like as a concept album, it tells an amazing story. Overall, the production and the rapping are both very on point and high quality. Kendrick Lamar is really good and this album is overall a masterpiece. I enjoyed this album because I feel like it relates to me as a black man trying to survive and I feel like that other black men should listen to this album. Overall, I would rate this album a 9 out of 10. It is my second favorite Kendrick Lamar album behind Tepimba Butterfly. My favorite song from it would be The Art of Peer Pressure and my least favorite would be Real. I give this album a 8 out of 10. My favorite song would have to be Money Trees. I'm sure everybody knows that song. And least favorite, probably real. Your bird of the week is a stork. And there's actually one right there. Hi, I'm Nina Cooper. And my New Year's resolution was definitely to eat healthier. Last year, I didn't have the best diet, but this year it's definitely different. Okay, I've been eating a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, and I honestly can't even remember the last time I had anything like even a little bit unhealthy. Oh, I thought you were supposed to be eating healthier. Dude, these have like, like three grams of protein. Okay. My name is Victoria, and my New Year's resolution is to definitely like stay on top of my work and like stop procrastinating because like last year I kind of got caught up at the end of the year with trying to fi finish all my missing work but this year I've been doing really well like I don't think I have any work 
like at least missing work so far and um, I've just been doing really well at that. I thought you were going to stop procrastinating. I'll just do it all later. Sophie, it's time for the interview. Oh, uh, my name is Sophie and my New, Year's, New Year's resolution is to be on my phone less. Uh, my teachers kind of get mad at me because like I'm on my phone all the time, but I don't really like think that's true. So I guess I'll try to be on my phone less. And what's your screen time? Oh, I think, um, oh, it's around like 11 hours a day. It's not that bad, but I think I can get it lower to maybe like 10. Wake up. Hmm? What? Oh, right. Sorry. Um, my name's Lena B, and my New Year's resolutions for 2024 is to stop. <sighs> to stop sleeping so much because my teachers have been kind of getting mad at me for sleeping but it's not my fault that I go to sleep really late like I just can't sleep um all right because none of y'all follow your new year's resolution until like mid mid year. Um, overrated. Nobody actually commits to them, and they only last two to three weeks. Yeah. High school relationships are overrated. It's only designed for people to flex on each other and not find a relationship with the other person. It's overrated because I didn't even watch it. College football. I don't know nothing about football in general. So overrated. New Year's resolutions are overrated because nobody follows through with them within the first month of the year. They like some of y'all are cute and stuff, but like mid-year y'all finna start problems. I think they're overrated only because I don't really like football and college football is not really like, you know, yeah, no. High school relationships, y'all are very much overrated. Some of y'all, some of y'all might make it, the rest of y'all, no. I'd say perfectly rated because it's a good time for everybody and it's another reason to celebrate for anything. Kind of overrated. I don't think anyone actually ever follows through with them. Like, I think they're overrated only because you're. If y'all break up, y'all gonna have to see each other around a school. So I'd be like, what? School relationships are un overrated. Actually, y'all will break up after senior year. College football. Overrated as I can get out of I don't understand the appeal of football. Your number of the week is 19 because there's 19 more days until the hot chocolate day. My name is Honest Moore. I'm, I'm in grade 12 right now. Oh, my strategy on getting rich is marketing. What got me is some music. I found out about Trippy Red and, and he inspired me. I was like, dang, I want to I I be like Trippy Red. Just um, his image, just him. When I first found out about him, 2016, I listen to like people I be people I know. My process of making music is is punching in, freestyling in my room. Right after my uncle had passed, I had made a beat, and then I showed it to my mom, and I kept making beats, and it just kept getting better. I record on FL Studio. After high school, I plan on doing doing what I gotta do, working until I go go to technical schools for a service and just keep on doing that while I build clientele for my music business. I'm on, I'm on, I'm mostly on SoundCloud, but I'm on, I'm on all platforms. The color of the week is gold because our cheer trophies are gold. I'm Lennon and you're watching CSPN. Your Centennial Knights had a big win Tuesday night against North Spring, 78 to 65. Their next game is this Friday night. Come out and support against Chattahoochee at 7.30. Your Centennial Knights have baseball tryouts Monday through Wednesday in the player meetings on Thursday and Friday. Your Centennial Knights soccer teams have tryouts. Starting with the boys, they go from Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. The girls are Tuesday and Wednesday. Your Centennial Knights girls lacrosse team has tryouts next Wednesday and Thursday at 6 to 8. And that's it for this week, Centennial. Soccer, lacrosse, and baseball. Prepare for the upcoming tryouts next week. And see you next, next week. Go, Go Knights! Knights.